presidential candidates accuse LCCA of bias over non-invitation to Pali article, I've never seen Lagos so mobilized for PDP amid resignation calls, are you jets out of Nigeria Dugara, Babachi continue agitation against APC's Muslim Muslim ticket. Meet 19 Northern Can Chairman Hall Peel of Defections from APC, former aspirants begged Tinubu by spending more than 100% of its revenue on debt servicing. Nigeria is breaching one of the applicable debt sustainability thresholds, just as the All Progressives Congress, APC, led government is dressing Nigeria in borrowed robes. These were the words of the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Al Haji Atiku Abubakar. During a meeting with the private sector in Lagos, yesterday Atiku, who stated this at the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, Presidential Economic Agenda Forum, also noted that if elected, he would establish an infrastructure debt fund of over $20 billion to bridge the nation's huge infrastructure gap. He berated the President Muhammadu Buhari administration for what he described as excessive borrowing for projects that couldn't finance themselves. According to him, the present administration is driving key infrastructure programs with very little private sector participation in the face of dwindling public revenue, adding that the quantum of financing required to bridge the infrastructure gap is neither feasible nor sustainable, we shall incentivize with regulations and tax incentives for a consortium of private sector institutions to establish an infrastructure debt fund of an initial carrying capacity of $20 billion. This will be for the financing and delivery of large infrastructure projects across all sectors of the economy. We will establish an infrastructure development unit in the presidency with a coordinating function and specific mandate of working with MD as to fast track and drive the process of infrastructure development in the country. He added on debt accumulation. He said he would be more strategic and circumspect, saying that the revelation by Finance Minister that the cost of servicing Nigeria's debt has surpassed federal government's retained revenue by N310 billion in the first quarter of the year is very worrisome. He said he would take immediate steps to slow down the rate of debt accumulation by promoting more public-private partnerships PPPs, in critical infrastructure funding and identifying more innovative funding options. Specifically, our government will ensure that all borrowed funds are for priority infrastructure projects that would generate income, boost output, and put the economy on the path of sustainable growth. I will also review the country's debt strategy by focusing on concessional and semi-concessional sources with lower interest rates and relatively long-term maturity, he said. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel.